and today we'll be continuing Death Note. Okay, last time in Death Note, okay, we got reintroduced to Kiyomi Takeda, which was one of Light's girlfriends temporarily. Actually, it was kind of like a fake girlfriend that he had to get people to think that he wasn't with Misa, I think, at the time, was the whole purpose of her. And, yeah, that was about it. But we did know her, like, 20 episodes ago. So it's just kind of weird that they brought her back. But she's actually now. She's the spokesperson for Kira. So that's crazy. And we got Teru Mikami, who's the hand of Kira. So it seems like Light is starting to get back in control of the entirety of the situation. He's got the voice of the people now, basically, through Kiyomi Takeda. And he doesn't even have to do anything. He doesn't have to lift a hand anymore. Because Teru Mikami will be there to do it for him. And Teru Mikami looks at Light like a god. So. I don't know. I'm not sure what's really. And I guess. I don't know. I'm kind of scared for Misa. Because she's like getting thrown to the side I feel. I don't like it too much. I mean I don't like it at all. It just sucks. Alright I'm going to start this in 3, 2, 1. What? Scorn. Okay, I'm kind of scared. All the pieces have fallen into place. Now that things have come this far, it's my turn to go. To what is he? Is he building a bridge? A building? Commander Rester. Yes. I'm afraid I need you to return to New York immediately. Right now? For who, Mello? Dude, the year is so weird. Productions and NHN are practically begging us now. The great Misa Misa comeback plan was a huge success. Let's go. Impossible for anyone to get into NHN, but this will get us full access. Nice. That's right. Mogi will be gaining entry as Misa. Mogi. Definitely be to our advantage to have someone who can go in and out freely. In the meantime, I'll continue investigating Takeda. Why? I mean, okay. Oh, it is it around December? Why tell me? You see the Christmas tree? I presume you've already contacted Takada for the purposes of your own investigation. Does he want to meet? In fact, I'm investigating her myself at the moment. In total, there are only four active members of the SPK. That includes myself. Okay. How was that? Look at this. Ooh! This is like some L stuff from season one. I am in Japan as we speak. I am in Japan as well. We be quite close to each other. Who knows? We might even have the chance to meet face to face. I hope so. Well, that'll be something to look forward to. Yes. When that time comes, we'll finish this kid a matter once and for all. Bro. It's all becoming clear to me. From the very beginning and even now it's been a one on one fight. <sighs> oh no, he's dead. But I was just shifted to his heirs. Let's go. Fine. I'll come out to play if you will. It's only fair after all. That's so cool. You'll find out which of us is truly prepared to win. The Grim Reaper? Oh, okay. I hope. Let's review what we know so far. It's like Kira. Wow. Now we'll call him El Kira. There's also someone who has the notebook and is currently using it. We'll call him X Kira. Okay, I see. By the pattern of X Kira's killings, he has definitely made the deal and acquired the Shinigami eyes. El Kira and X Kira can't communicate directly. They must be planning to go. Dude, he's so smart. Just shoot him. Okay. Why? Okay. Okay. 
Interesting. What about? Didn't you say you're gonna use the Death Note and kill Mello? Like what? Listening to this conversation, hear your reactions. The SPK has started to make its move. You have to okay, I see. Safely. Instead of only accepting messages from Kira, maybe you should consider making a few demands of your own. Oh, light's getting down to business. You shouldn't only be a spokesperson, your voice should be heard as well. Reach out to Kira, tell him what you think he needs to know. In order to create the perfect world the kid has envisioned, I want you to begin judging and punishing people as Kira. Wow. It's all right, Kiyomi. I have faith in you. It's going to be okay. If you can do this, I'm sure you can send Kira information. We don't want the SPK to know about it. Okay. <laughs> Too good, so good they don't even know what's going on. Oh, he's got that voice module on it, so well, you know, obviously alters his voice. That's kind of cool. Look at that lamp. Is he gonna go with that? I mean, you know what I mean? What are you planning? I hope he's okay with this. It's not my place to question God. His will is absolute. Please, bro, just go with it. My job is to do what God wishes. Okay, he seems to be chill with it. I was getting worried they'd be like, nah, yo, I'm keeping the death note. Why do you get no? Well, now in your nose. Yeah, but he's got fake death note now, so but that's the reasoning why, most likely. Oh snap. No, no, I hate this. Misa, you're always the best. They're gonna find that fake death note. But do you think he actually did save a few pages from the death note? You know what I mean? I'm spooked. Oh, this is cool. So it must be December. I think it is actually, right? Because wasn't it like November or something a while back? Not too long ago? October or something? Lisa, I'm sorry to have to invite you to dinner 
the same way that mine. I'm afraid it had to wait until after the nine o'clock news was finished. No problem. I don't mind at all. I'm a night owl anyway. I'm not really sure how to answer the question. Where's those pages at? Is Misa gonna die? How do you two know? No, that doesn't make any sense. Why okay. You? She knows that I can't see him that much. Well, she can be with him all the time. How dare she? Things are great between us. Light is way more affectionate than he looks, at least with me. In fact, he starts clinging to me as soon as he gets in the door every night. Oh, I see. Uh, I wish that was true, but she knows that's Cap. Oh, my heart's racing. I'm scared. I don't like this. I don't know why. Does Kiyomi have the, the pages? Because she might get jealous and try to kill Misa. See, I hate this. I'm scared. Nothing to do with his decisions. I used to really like Kiara too, you know. But I know for sure that light's gonna catch him soon. <laughs> oh, she just realized that Misa doesn't even know. No, she's laughing because she knows that Misa doesn't know anything that's going on. Listen, Kiyomi. I am the real Kiara. Please join me, Kiyomi. Only if Kiyomi knew that she was the second Kira. Hey, this is the song Misa sung. On the episode that Elle dies. In the beginning half. This is the song. I'm so scared. I don't like this. Something weird's going on. I just don't like it. Are we good? Bro. Oh, snap. Taking his glasses off. It's go time. Dude, this is so cool. Because you know it's fake. Delete. 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 <laughs> That's so cool. Wait, what? No! Please! No! I hope something something weird's going on. I'm hoping it's not what I... Obviously what it looks like is it looks like he just straight up killed the dude. There's no way though. He's not stupid. He's the second smartest Kira we have had so far. I mean, Misa was actually really smart too, but, I mean, <sighs> Mikami, he's, he's extremely clever, and, and the whole thing, I mean, he's using a fake Death Note that looks like the real Death Note, but why did that guy just die? Unless, this was all a setup. And that drunk idiot was actually working with Taro Mikami to make it look like he just died. But if that was the case, I mean, that would be way too much information because then it would make it look like Taro Mikami's Kira. And then the drunk guy would be like, why do you want me to act like I just got a heart attack? You know what I mean? That makes no sense. I got, I, I'm just going to believe in Taro Mikami. 
he believes in God, right? Kira, so he went to defy Kira. So because of that, he would listen to his word. And because he'll listen to his word, then he'll end up writing in the fake death note rather than writing in the real death note. Okay, so what Kiyomi told Mikimi was that rip out five blank pages of death notes, send them to me, making it look like it's a fan so I would recognize you or something like that. So, but she wants him to continue his killings until she gets those pages. And then once she gets those pages, then he has to stop killing suckers in the death note and start writing names in a fake death note that looks like the real death note. So... I mean, that cannot possibly be all the information that he received. Because then why would he so blatantly and in the open like literally he's chilling on the the bus or the train he pulls his phone out takes the snap with the snap thing on so it was obviously he took a photo and then he's like delete out loud and as he's walking off the sucker drops dead that is so obvious there is no way what I just saw actually happened there has to be some other explanation. It's just cool to see that Light still realizes that it's still a one-on-one -on -one fight against L after all this time. He's just now fighting like other variations of L. You know what I mean? It's all, he's still fighting L after all this time pretty much. That's so crazy. And it, it he, yeah, it is. Um, and it, Nier is a lot weirder than I thought. I mean, doesn't he act like he has autism or something? Like, he's he's always doing something. He's playing with Legos. He's playing with, like, he's building something. He's always doing something weird. Or, like, he has, like, toys with him on, the like, the plane. It's just, like, he acts like he's, like, eight or something. It's weird. I don't know, but obviously he's extremely clever. And, like I said, they got Watari bucks because they got Legos. And those are expensive. So, yeah. And... Some weird, uh, the mid credit scene popped up and it said something about, okay, what was it? This is just a weird rule from the Death Note. In the event that there are more than six Death Notes in the human world, only the first six Death Notes that have been delivered to humans will have effect. So basically, if there's any more than six Death Notes, the first six Death Notes, so if there's somehow 300 Death Notes on the Earth, only the first six in use will actually be functional. Why is that a rule? Why is it only six? Like, that's so weird. Like, why? I don't know. So weird. And it must be December, right? Because there's like a Christmas tree. I don't know. It's cool. I don't know. I, I'm scared because Light told, basically, he straight up told Kiyomi that she's going to be now judging and basically killing suckers because... Those five pages? I mean, I, I don't know where this is going. I'm scared because we don't really know how, we don't know how, like, pure Kiyomi actually is. Like, is she just going to kill Misa? Like, is she going to kill Misa just because she's jealous? Like, you know what I mean? She, doesn't, she wants her out of the way. And the whole thing where Misa says she's going to propose to Light. And Kiyomi was like, if it happens or something like that. Kind of like making it insinuating that she's either going to be dead or somehow it won't happen. Alright, this is me from the future editing this video. This version you're currently seeing of me did not apparently see or recognize the photo that was taken. So I never once mention that... Mikimi could have sent the photo off. I never even thought about that until editing the video for some reason. And on top of that, what I'm talking about right now with Misa, does Kiyomi have the eyes? But that doesn't make any sense because she doesn't have the book. But it's just weird because the way she was talking to Misa makes it seem like she might know that Misa's about to die or something. And that would only make sense if she had the eyes because then she can see how much time Misa has left. I don't know. There was zero... Ryuk in this episode 
where the heck is he? He was not at the task force. He was not with Light. He wasn't with Misa. He wasn't with Mikami. I don't even think he was in this episode. Very strange. I don't know. I like this episode, but at the same time, my heart was like pounding. I was more scared than usual. I did not like the conversation between Misa and Kiyomi. <sighs> like... Because remember when Misa was kind of out of control and basically said to Light, if you're with any other girls, I'll kill them? What if that's what she's thinking now? Kiyomi. Like, is she gonna, like... Is she gonna kill Misa? <sighs> Man, I was... Last episode, I was kind of liking Kiyomi. I was... She was growing on me. She doesn't come even close to Misa, though. And I just don't like what they're doing with Misa currently. She's, like, thrown to the side. She's not in the loop at all. And now Kiyomi's kind of, like, making fun and, like, looking down on Misa, thinking she doesn't know anything. That's, well, she doesn't. But only... I wish she knew that she was the second Kira and that Misa's killed hundreds of people. <laughs> and she's had the Shinigami eyes. And she's... You know what? She's had her own personal Shinigami that killed themselves for her. She's had two Shinigamis die for Misa. I wish she would know that. She is a true OG baller. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm worried. And another thing, back when they had that conversation, L or Light and Nier had that conversation where, like, show them, like, we know in the first season, or, I mean, have I, I've been calling, I just, I, this, I've just noticed that. I've been calling the previous part season one, and this season two. Since the opening change, I've been calling this season two, but I don't, there is no season. It's just one show you know what I mean so in the first half of the show where they had a bunch of shots or scenes where it's showing light and L like on buildings like rising up to see who's like gonna have the high ground or whatever and they did that here and they're like saying we'll see like face to face and like it seemed like Nier was wanting that but the thing is Nier already knows what <laughs> light looks like so the only one that's gonna benefit from this is light because near already knows what light looks like so the only person here who's gonna benefit at all is light and we know he has a page in his watch still so with that being the case oh well he doesn't know his name still though I now I'm now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know exactly how smart of a decision it was to get Misa to lose her memory again Cause she lost her eyes again. I, I just don't. I don't know if that was the right decision, because now what in this? What are you gonna do in this scenario, when you see near? You can't kill him. You don't know his name. Unless Light does the eye thing, or he gets. No, that wouldn't work. Cause you need the you need the actual book, not a page, right, to do the deal with the Shinigami to get the eyes. Like, you need to actually be the owner of the book. You need to have, like, possession of the book, right? I was gonna say, if you give the five pages to Kiyomi, she could do, like, the deal with the Shinigami. Then she could kill Nier? Or something? And what's... Dude, ah, oh man. I just don't know anymore. I feel like I'm on... I'm on Misa's side. Because Light... I, I don't know. I've been with them this whole time. It's like such a... It's a toxic relationship, boys. Because I'm like... I'm with him. But he just does some things that it's just like... I just don't agree with it. But for some reason, I'm still on his side. And I stay with him. I just realized that sounds kind of weird the way I'm saying it. But like... You get what I'm saying, right? Like... I don't like the way he's treating Misa... I want her back in the loop, but at the same time I don't, because as long as she stays out, I mean, the safer she is, kind of. I just don't, I'm so scared. 
I just once again I don't know if that was a good deal to get rid of the eyes because that is that is so vital having the Shinigami eyes like you were never going to get Nier's name how are you ever going to get it Light never even knew L's name you know what I mean he never found it the only reason he died was because a Shinigami has Shinigami eyes and killed Light or L so that's the only reason he died the only way I feel like near, if that is going to happen, is to have Shinigami eyes. No one has them. Oh, wait. No, but no. I mean, Mikami has the eyes. So. Yeah, no, Mikami has the eyes, but. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm thinking I'm understanding the plan. If I was in lights situation this is what my plan would be and this is what i'm hoping he's doing because if so i feel like it's me flawless have Mika me right maybe he genuinely did just kill that guy on the train but somehow he has the fake death note so when he gets somehow taken into custody by the spk near will investigate him or something like that after finding out that this Death Note isn't actually real, but he's just a, he is like a deep fanatic follower of Kira, so he has like his own fake Death Note or something like that, writing in, hoping that he can be Kira someday, and then once he, re um, Nier realizes that he's not actually Kira, he'll end up showing himself to Mikami, like talking once he realizes he doesn't ha actually have the Shinigami eyes and all that stuff. But since Mikami actually has the Shinigami eyes, he'll know Nier's real name. And since he really does have the real Death Note, he could kill Nier. That might be what happens. I mean, that sounds like a beast plan. That's what I feel like I would tell him to do. Somehow, yeah, somehow get him spotted by the SPK and have him followed and then somehow get convo going between him and Nier and once he gets Nier's name down you know what I mean something like that that has to be part of the plan right but then what's the five pages have to do with anything like he says he's gonna have Kiyomi killing suckers but like another vital point that Light just happens to forget and not tell anyone is that if you use the death note you don't go to heaven or hell but at the same <laughs> At the same time, everyone I've seen in this show that's used the Death Note, knowing that ahead of time, everyone that ends up getting their hands on the Death Note, I feel like still would do it. They would still use the Death Note. Kiyomi, because of the whole justice thing, she's like a huge follower of Kira, agrees with the way he believes. She probably thinks he's God too, and that she loves light. So because of that, she'd probably use the Death Note. Misa, <laughs> she would 100% she's already done the ideal three times or she's done the ideal at least twice now so we know she would do it over and over and over for light and mikami is a huge follower and believer of kira so he would absolutely do it so every user we have seen that use actually well mr yagami would be the only person I don't think well he didn't even write in it because he, he is actually pure hearted so he's the only person that actually wouldn't use it even Nier though okay this is another thing Nier's like oh yeah we're not gonna kill them because that's bad that's not pure justice but then like three episodes ago he says yo can I have the death note real quick so I can kill Mello to see if the 13 day rule thing is real is that not justice I mean that doesn't sound like justice right so I mean, what? I don't know. And I kind of... I don't know. See, this is one thing with L. The OGL. I never once thought he would go crazy and be corrupt once he got his hands on the Death Note. I cannot say the same with Nier. I just can't. I know he's, like, supposedly good, but... There's just with this weird vibe and certain things he says, and, he like, he looks at everything as a game. And, like, it seems like he'll do anything to win. But that's the same way Ellen uh, Light look at it. But they don't look at it the way he does. But I don't know. Near he seem obviously he seems like he's on their. I mean, Light and Near are both justice, but they each have their own definition of it. 
And it honestly seems like if Nier got his hands on the Death Note, he would just, he would probably write Light's name down. I just think he would. He might write all them suckers' names down. Just to win. I mean, I don't know. That's what I feel. And another thing is, when you look at all, I mean, you guys probably haven't noticed, but <clears throat> all my thumbnails for these Death Note videos are either, the backgrounds are either red or blue for all their auras. The people who are on pure side, like light, or no, no well, L, are like blue. And the suckas, they're like users of the Death Note, or look at justice in a more dark light, like light. I have a red background for them. And the only person besides the only person besides Matsuda, who's his aura was yellow. I don't know why. So besides that thumbnail, every other thumbnail is either red or blue. Besides Nears. Nears, I have a mixture between red and blue. So it's like a purplish because I can't tell if he's good or not. I don't know what side he's on. I still can't. Every other character I can kind of tell when I'm doing the thumbnails. I cannot tell with Nier. His thumb I just I don't know. He's like a mix. I got really sussed out <laughs> after he said he was so willingly to write and kill Mello in the Death Note. He literally said that. Like, he's that willing to catch Kira. And at that point, you're like, L I don't know. Yeah, at that point, you are no different than Kira. Because Mello is currently trying to catch you know Kira so by you killing someone trying to look or you know stop Kira how is that any different than Kira trying to kill people from trying to catch Kira you know what I'm saying if that made any sense it's no different so that's why I feel like Nier isn't like any better than Kira another thing that scared me in this episode is we had it's the same song I mean it's the same it's the same song but played differently this time around and it was it was lyricless. It's the same song that Misa sung when she won that crazy killing spree on the episode that L dies. That was playing in the background when they had the dinner between Misa and Kiyomi. And that kind of scared me too, because the song was literally that's Misa's. So I mean why? Kinda of scared me. So I don't know. I'm getting nervous. And, I don't know, this area, the area we are currently in right now, feels very Final Destination-y. And I'm not talking about the movie. It seems like a finale zone. It feels like we just entered, like if you're on a map in a game, it feels like this area of the map that we are currently on is the final ending. Like, we are in the final location of the map. Is what I'm feeling. It's kind of spooky. I don't know. Yeah, this was another weird episode. I know I said that already, but it was a different vibe to it. And Ryuk was gone again. The only time we've had him gone was was before we even knew Ryuk in the first episode, the first part of it, and the weird transition phase when Light lost his memory and he was legit trying to catch. Kira with L. Those were the only two times we have not seen Ryuk. Besides that, he's always been here. So once again, not having him in an episode, it felt weird. And it's it's noticeable. I don't know. And once again, I mentioned this at the end of last episode, I'm scared. Because it doesn't seem to be going at the pace I feel like it should be. And that's not a diss on the show, or it's not in a negative light at all. It's more like, last episode, like I said, there's ten things. Main things in the show. And we're one episode shorter to finishing the episode, or the show. We only have four now, and we still got ten things lingering over our shoulder. Their main are big and plotish, And I don't know how we're going to solve ten plot points by the time the show's done. I mean, we got what happens to Light, what happens to Misa, 
What happens to Mikami? What happens to Kiyomi? What happens to Nier? What happens to Mello? What happens to the Task Force? What happens to SPK? What happens to Ryuk? What happens to the Death Note? And that was 10 quick ones. If I think harder, there's probably even more. So it's like... There's all of those things I just named. And we only have four episodes left. I just don't... I'm scared. I just... I cannot see how you can possibly end this show having all these things all of these things solved so i'm a little spooked but like i've said up to this point currently episode 33 the show has been a perfect 10 out of 10 in my eyes so i'm just going to continue with that thought and hope it stays that way i am getting nervous though because i i don't know how they're going to do it So yeah, I'm in here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.